there guys, my name is Kirsty Star Dogs of all Bob Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update from Cedar Point. We got some news on their 150th anniversary, we got some planned announcements for the 2020 season to help celebrate the 150th anniversary of the park. Uh, so we're going to be going through all of that, including the main new attraction for next year, which is called Snake River Expedition. A bit more on that later on. But before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. We're getting closer and closer to Christmas. As you can see by my hair, very, very wet. <laughs> because I just came out of the pouring down rain. Uh, because, uh, yeah, it's just absolutely showering it down. Um, but... Hopefully it won't put off this video. So let's zoom into the video and let's have a look at Cedar Point's 150th anniversary. So we've got some details, we've got some specifics, and we're going to go through each one individually. So I uh, hope you like what's coming your way. Let's start off with the brand new attraction, the main new attraction for next year. It's Snake River Expedition. Now, Snake River Expedition, excuse me, Snake River Expedition, uh, is a nod to the former attraction Paddle Wheel Excursions. Um, so this is going to be a new riverboat that will travel along the Snake River surrounding the Forbidden Frontier and Adventure Island. The boat ride will include a storyline as well as some live animatronics, actors and special effects along the journey. Now the park have also announced something called Ticket of a Lifetime. Now if you don't know what that is, basically, starting this February, the park will begin holding drawings where guests can enter to try and, uh, and win one of these special tickets that quite literally is the Ticket of a Lifetime. 150 winners will be chosen over the season with each winner able to select um, three family or friends to also get their own Ticket of a Lifetime pass that includes Unlimited edition to Cedar Point, uh, the Cedar Shores Water Park, and also free parking. We all love free parking here at the theme park industry. Also, we have a new nighttime celebration uh, called Celebrate 150 Spectacular, which will include floats and 100 live performers that will travel down the main, main midway and end with a street party in Celebration Plaza nightly. This will run from June 12th to August 16th, those of you who need the specific details. Uh, and there we go. So that is the sort of main things. There's a couple of new uh, restaurant enhancements as well as the new grill-type restaurant, uh, which is near Raptor. Uh, and there's also the brand new French Quarter Connections, Corrections, something like that. It's French Quarter something. Um, so, you know, pretty cool uh, additions to the restaurant um, lineup. So, overall, I'm very happy about this. Very, very happy. Um, I think overall, I think Cedar Port. I think now, now this is where it's going to get interesting because. The coaster community and the theme park community, some members love it, some members absolutely love it, including myself. But there's some people out there that like to sort of complain that they're not going to get a big coaster. You've got to remember, we knew months ago that, you know, Tony Clark said and came out and said, there will not be a coaster next year, it won't be that year, we'll be introducing a new ride, because rides are a big part of the history of the park. Boy, it's going to be a celebratory year. We knew it was going to be a celebratory year. We didn't know anything about a coaster. So we knew months ago that there wasn't going to be any new coasters. If anything, the new coaster will come in 2021. So, you know, if it's 2021 or 2022 for the next coaster, I don't know why people are complaining. Um, in my personal opinion, I think it's a very strong addition. New nighttime celebration. They're really making. Now, this is the big thing I sort of discussed about um, sort of in privately to myself. You know, I was making these notes. Um... One big thing that I noted was the fact that Cedar Point is being made more into a theme park rather than just a sh like a coastal uh, amusement park with a load of coasters. Like this, like the coaster capital of the coasts. You know, they're not becoming that anymore. They're becoming a proper themed park on the coast, uh, and they're really going for the themed route here. Uh, we saw the changes back in 2014 when they brought in the German, this new rise to the Gemini Midway, the two new family rides. You saw the landscape change the year earlier, after, uh, before that, with 2013 with Gatekeeper on the Disaster Transport and Space Spiral site. That really opened the views up to the beach a bit more, and it really gave the front gate a brand new uh, entrance. It gave them a brand new signature 
um, sort of inversion over the new entrance gate as well. So they were thinking about the themed experience. They were doing a two-year renovation at Hotel Breakers that started in 2014, ran through to 2015. Um, you know, and they've, they've included plenty more things since then. They've improved stuff. They've improved Mean Street, which is one of the worst coasters, according to some people. Um, and they've made it one of the best coasters in the world with Steel Vengeance. They brought in Val Raven a couple of years before that, which is the B&M Dive, you know, on the old Showtime Theater um, sort of spot site. Uh, you know, that was a pretty cool investment. You can walk under a Gatekeeper Zero G roll under the keyhole, or you can walk under Val Raven's break room uh, <laughs> at the other end of the site. Uh, but overall, I'm not complaining. I think this is brilliant. Bring back a classic attraction in a brand new form. And bring into and to be fair, from the details from that, I'm really excited about this. Um, you know, hearing about the the live actors, the special effects, uh, the storyline. You know, with all that being added, I'm really excited about this. I hope you guys are really excited as well. The nighttime celebration again, fantastic addition, exactly what the park needed. Um, you look at the Grand Carnival, what they're doing at Valley Fair and Carowinds next year. I think it's going to be like a big, big, big version of that, but just themed around the 150th anniversary celebration. I think they're going to do a really good job with that. I saw the concept of one of the floats. Uh, it's like a roller coaster type float. Again, a big part of Cedar Point's history. Uh, and of course, they're doing the. There's like roller skaters going like round the thing. So I'm get. So you know, with roller skaters going round a parade float that's shaped like a roller coaster. That gets me excited, <laughs> as you can see by my crazy eyes. Um, I'm really excited about this. It, you can tell I'm really excited about this. It, the nighttime celebration is going to be a big thing for the park, big, big celebration for the park. The brand new attraction, like I said, bring a classic back, bring it into, into a modern universe, bring it back to a modern standard. On the Paddle Wheel Excursion site, it's going to be surrounding the Forbidden Frontier. It's the Snake River surrounding the Forbidden Frontier and Adventure Island attraction. Um, you know, when they said they were doing a new water attraction uh, for their historic 150th year, I was kind of thinking they were going to use that excursion site or part of it and maybe do like a, a modern take, well not like, a, not like a power splash, but like a modern take on the old, you know like those old water shoots, any of you in the UK that experienced Toad Hole at Lightwater Valley, or there's the uh, water shoot that's now at Wicksteed Park. Um, you know, something like that. I was kind of ho expecting something like that, but I really don't mind. I really don't mind about this. This is going to be a great attraction, um, State River Expedition. So thank you very much for watching this theme park news update from Cedar Point. Like I said, I'm really excited about the 150th year and I cannot wait to see more of it. Thank you very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Child, Keel on the Coast of Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. I've lost a number, friends.